you for the sixth session of uh, transport layer under VTU e Shikshana program. In the last session, uh, we were discussing about go back in ERQ. In this session, we will understand what is selective repeat ERQ. Sliding window protocol. The sliding window is a technique for sending multiple frames at a time. Selective repeat and go back in are sliding window protocols. Two types of sliding window protocols, which are those that is selective repeat and go back in. Go back in and selective repeat are different types of sliding window protocol. It controls the data packets between the two devices where reliable and gradual delivery of data frames is needed. It is also used in TCP, that is transmission control protocol. Go back in is one of uh, sliding window protocol and uh, selective repeat is also one of the sliding window protocol. Uh, this is implemented in uh, TCP, that is transmission control protocol. In this technique, each frame has sent from the sequence number. The sequence number are used to find the missing data in the receiver end. The purpose of the sliding window technique is to avoid duplicate data. So it uses the sequence number. For every frame, sequence number and identifier will be there to identify whether the frame are delivered properly or not. So sliding window technique uses sequence number to find the missing data at the receiver end. Types of sliding window protocols. The sliding window ERQ protocols are of two categories. ERQ means automatic repeat request. Sliding window ERQ comes with go back in ERQ and selective repeat ERQ. In this session, we will understand what is selective repeat ERQ. Fine. Selective repeat ERQ. It is also known as selective repeat automatic repeat request. In uh, go back in, it is assumed that the receiver does not have any buffer space for its window size and must process each frame as it comes. In go back in, what is happening? It is there is no buffer space at the receiver uh, side. So it has to process each and every frame as it comes. This enforces the sender to retransmit all the frames which are not acknowledged. So the go back in ERQ protocol works well if it has less errors, if it has a few errors. But if there is lot of errors in the frame, lots of bandwidth loss in sending the frames again. So uh, uh, bandwidth wastage takes place in go back in. So we use selective repeat ERQ protocol. In selective repeat ERQ protocol, only the frames which are corrupted, damaged, uh, that particular frame is retransmitted, not the entire frame present in the current window. In this protocol, the size of the sender window size and uh, the receiver window size is greater than one. That is, the size of the sender window is always equal to the size of the receiver window. The size of the sliding window is always greater than one in selective repeat ERQ. Right. In a selective repeat, if the receiver receives a correct frame, it does not directly discard. It sends negative acknowledgement to the uh, sender. The sender sends that particular frame as and when it receives negative acknowledgement. It will not wait for the timeout to expire. So this is one important point you should remember in selective repeat ERQ. And uh, if the receiver receives a corrupt frame, it, uh, it will not discard. Instead, it sends negative acknowledgement to the sender and the sender retransmits that particular frame. And if the receiver receives a corrupt frame, it does not directly discard it. In selective repeat, it receives the corrupt frame and it sends negative acknowledgement to the sender. It sends negative acknowledgement to the sender. The sender sends that frame again as soon as it receives negative acknowledgement. So there is no waiting for any timeout to send that uh, uh, particular frame. 
important point in uh, uh, selective repeat ERQ that is it uses two windows of equal size that is a sending window that stores the frame to be sent and a receiving window that stores the frames received by the receiver the size is of the maximum sequence number of the frame for example if the sequence number is 0 to 15 then the window size will be off of that that is exactly 8 0 to 15 means 16 frame then the window size will be 8 so uh, the important point in a selective repeat erq is the sending window stores the frame and the receiving window receives the frame both sending window and receiving window uh, size are same the size is of the maximum sequence number of the frame coming to the implementation of sliding window protocol we can see in the diagram after sending each frame the timer starts and uh, uh, you have to receive the acknowledgement before the timer closes or before the timer expires if you are not going to receive acknowledgement then that particular frame is retransmitted in go back end if uh, any frame uh, is corrupted then you are going to retransmit all the frame present in the current window but in sliding window protocol that is in uh, uh, selective repeat only the particular uh, frame is uh, retransmitted this is the selective repeat erq uh, it is one of the sliding window protocol right here see acknowledgement 2 is lost for frame 2 then uh, when timer expires that particular frame is retransmitted here in uh, sender side a searching technique is implemented and at the receiving side a sorting technique is implemented it is a bit complex to uh, implement uh, selective repeat erq coming to the working principle of uh, sr protocol that is in sr protocol sender window size is always same as the receiver window size in sr protocol sender window size is equal to receiver window size and the size is of course greater than one otherwise protocol will become stop and wait in stop and wait erq after sending one frame you have to wait uh, after receiving acknowledgement for that particular frame you have to send the next frame so uh, the name stop and wait after sending one frame you stop and wait for an acknowledgement when acknowledgement is received for that frame you have to send the next frame so if n bits are available for sequence number that is if there are uh, uh, 15 bits uh, then uh, sender window size is equal to receiver window size if you represent uh, that in uh, 2 to the power that is powers of 2 uh, for example if there are 16 frame then uh, 2 to the power of 4 uh, in that case that is 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 which is equal to 8 so the sender window size is equal to receiver window size is exactly 2 to the power of n minus 1 if n bits are available for sequence number then um, sender window size is equal to receiver window size is uh, 2 to the power of n minus 1 if there are 4 uh, uh, that is uh, 2 to the power of uh, 2 that is 2 bits if there are 4 the, if the window sliding window size is 4 then if you represent that in powers of 2 then it becomes 2 to the power of 2 uh, that is 2 bits in the sequence number binary bits if n bits are available for sequence number sequence number bits will be 2 in that case uh, 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 what is this 4 4 is the uh, sliding window size and number of bits in the sequence number is 2 to the power of 2 which is 4 okay n value is 4 you just remember always the sending window size and receiver window size is the same in selective repeat here 
नेक्स्ट इज सेलेक्टिव रिपीट प्रोटोकॉल यूजर्स इंडिपेंडेंट अक्नॉलेजमेंट ओनली दट इज इन एस आर प्रोटोकॉल इन एस आर प्रोटोकॉल रिसीवर अक्नॉलेज ईच फ्रेम इंडिपेडेंटली इयर इंडिपेंडेंट अक्नॉलेजमेंट इज यूज इन सेट ऑफ क्यूमुलेटिव अक्नॉलेजमेंट इन गो बैक एन क्यूमुलेटिव अक्नॉलेजमेंट वॉज देयर इन एस आर प्रोटोकॉल इंडिपेंडेंट अक्नॉलेजमेंट इज यूज that is as receiver receives new frame from the sender it sends its acknowledgement for every frames you are going to send the acknowledgement yes sir protocol does not accept the corrupted frame but uh, does not silently discard them see in selective repeat uh, the receiver will not store the corrupted frame and it will not discard it will send negative acknowledgement for the corrupted frame see in sr protocol if receiver receives a frame that is corrupted then it does not silently discard that frame receiver handles the situation efficiently by sending a negative acknowledgement for the corrupted frame or the damaged frame the negative acknowledgement allows early retransmission of the corrupted frame that is as soon as the sender receives the negative acknowledgement it sends the uh, uh, it resends that particular frame before the timer expires uh, that is it also avoids waiting for the timer uh, to expire at uh, sender side to retransmit that frame that is when the sender receives negative acknowledgement it immediately sends that particular frame it immediately retransmits that particular frame it also avoids waiting for the time out timer to expire at the sender side to retransmit the frame yes sir protocol accepts the out of order frames that is in yes sir protocol consider a receiver receives a frame whose sequence number is not what the receiver ex expects that is selective repeat protocol accepts the out of order frame because at the uh, receiver side a sorting technique you have to implement so it will receive out of order at last it will start uh, to get the original message that is uh, when a receiver receives out of order frame it does not discard that frame rather it accepts and keeps it in the window it stores in the window so storing uh, sorting concept is there at the receiving side right and uh, searching technique is there at the sender side of selective repeat erq yes sir protocol requires sorting at the receiver side in last slide i said uh, sorting and storing uh, uh, technique is implemented at the receiver side in sr protocol receiver window is implemented as linked list here linked list is used at the receiver window when the receiver receives a new frame it places the new frame at the end of the linked list when the received frames are out of order receiver performs the sorting sorting sorts the frame in the correct order so uh, when out of order frame is received at the uh, receiving end it will sort using sorting algorithm which is implemented at the receiver side when the received frames are out of order receiver performs the sorting and uh, frames are sorted in correct order at the receiver side so it is bit complex to implement because you have to implement uh, uh, sorting technique uh, storing searching in selective repeat trq that's why it is uh, uh, most rarely used compared to go back in erq but it saves the uh, bandwidth sr protocol requires searching at the sender side that is in sr protocol receiver does not reject the out of order frames receiver receives the out of order frames and sort them later thus only the missing frame has to be sent by the sender for sending the missing frame sender performs searching and finds the missing frame then sender selectively repeats that particular frame thus only the selected frame 
is uh, repeated and not the entire window whereas in go back and if any frame is uh, missed then all the uh, frames present in the current window are uh, retransmitted in select to repeat only the selected frame is repeated and not the entire window that is why protocol has been named as selective repeat protocol so in sr protocol receiver does not reject the out of order frame here searching technique is implemented at the sender side receiver accepts the out of order frames and sort them later then only the missing frame you are going to resend again you are going to retransmit only in the missing frame only in the missing frame has to be sent by the sender how uh, the sender comes to know which uh, frame is missing that is for sending the missing frame sender performs searching and finds the missing frame it will search the acknowledgement if any acknowledgement is missing only that particular frame is retransmitted again not the entire uh, frames present in the current window then sender selectively repeats only those uh, frame uh, uh, for which a negative acknowledgement are uh, uh, acknowledgement are missing when it receives negative acknowledgement it retransmits that particular frame and also it uh, uh, sends the frames for which no acknowledgement is received only the selected frame is repeated and not the entire window for that purpose the name selective repeat protocol it is called as sr protocol leads to the retransmission of lost frame after expiry of timeout timer that is in sr protocol uh, a frame being sent to the receiver is lost then uh, that particular frame is retransmitted that is consider a frame being sent to the receiver is lost on the way in the channel if that particular frame is lost then it is retransmitted only after timeout timer expires for that frame at the sender side then it retransmit only that particular frame uh, uh, when the timer expires see sr protocol leads to retransmission of lost frame after expiry of uh, timer so when the timer expires after sending every frame the timer starts uh, and uh, acknowledgement should be received before timer expires if timer expires then automatically that particular frame is retransmitted after sending every time you have to start the timer and you have to receive the acknowledgement before the timer expires if the timer expires and the acknowledgement is not received then that uh, packet or a frame is uh, retransmitted this is selective repeat trq implementation in the diagram you can see uh, the sender uh, window size and the receiver window size is same that is 4 and uh, uh, sf means first outstanding sn means next uh, frame to send at the receiver side rn is there rn is next uh, to receive that is uh, which frame to uh, receive next uh, right see here uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, these are the frame number uh, and uh, sf that is first outstanding frame you have to send this frame first after sending the frame 0 you have to start the timer see frame 0 is sent and uh, frame 0 is stored at the receiver then uh, ack is sent for that particular frame next the sliding window moves towards uh, right the next frame to be sent is 1 right the next frame to be sent is uh, 1 then uh, if you send the frame 1 sometimes uh, due to uh, unreliable channel uh, the frame may last in that case uh, uh, when timer expires for that particular frame uh, it is retransmitted again you will get negative acknowledgement for that particular frame you can send a uh, frame 0 frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 but uh, you should receive acknowledgement for all the, all the sent frame if any acknowledgement is missing then that particular frame is retransmitted again by the sender see frame one lost uh, frame two is uh, received frame three is uh, received 
and for frame one negative acknowledgement uh, is sent by the uh, receiver to the sender as soon as the negative acknowledgement is arrived at the receiver uh, at the sender then the sender retransmit that particular frame frame one is retransmitted this is how selective repeat is implemented it is uh, one of the important question for exam point of view and uh, in exam they will ask what is the difference between selective repeat erq and go back in erq uh, and uh, you have to explain in uh, point wise in the next slide we will understand how, how selective repeat erq is different from go back in erq see uh, the implementation is a bit difficult for uh, selective repeat erq and uh, in understanding it is uh, very easy in understanding uh, the concept of selective repeat erq in the name itself uh, the answer is there that is uh, only uh, the frame which is uh, missing or for the frame uh, negative acknowledgement arrives that particular frame is retransmitted whereas in go back can if uh, negative acknowledgement uh, is received or if uh, uh, the uh, frame is lost uh, while uh, traveling from sender to receiver then all the uh, frames present in the current window are retransmitted so the difference uh, coming to the difference between go back in erq and selective repeat erq uh, the first difference in uh, 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 go back in and selective repeat is in go back in if a sent frame is found uh, suspected or damaged then all the frames are retransmitted till the last packet whereas in selective repeat only the suspected or damaged frame are retransmitted so sender window size is uh, n in go back n whereas the sender window size uh, of selective repeat protocol is also n uh, along with the receiver window size is uh, uh, same receiver window size is one uh, that is in go back in erq it is assumed that receiver does not have any buffer uh, so uh, it has to process each and every frame as it comes whereas in selective repeat protocol uh, the receiver window size is also n here the receiver window size is one in go back in uh, protocol there is no buffer at the receiver side whereas in selective repeat sender window size and receiver window size both are equal in go back in protocol uh, complexity is less whereas selective repeat protocol is more complex because searching sorting technique you have to implement and uh, uh, storing technique you have to use at the uh, receiver side a uh, receiver side storing and sorting and at the sender side searching searching technique is used so it is bit difficult to implement so selective repeat protocol is more complex go back in protocol is less complex in go back in protocol neither sender nor at receiver need sorting in a selective repeat protocol receiver needs uh, sorting to sort the frame so it is bit complex and uh, linked list is uh, used in selective repeat protocol to store the um, frames next in go back and protocol types of acknowledgement is cumulative whereas in selective repeat protocol types of acknowledgement is individual that is for every uh, frame you have to send the acknowledgement in selective repeat whereas in go back and uh, the acknowledgement is uh, cumulative that is for uh, multiple frames you are going to get one acknowledgement in a uh, go back and protocol out of order packets are not accepted that is discarded in uh, go back and and uh, entire window is retransmitted again but in selective repeat protocol out of orders are accepted so uh, these are some of the differences uh, between go back and erq and selective repeat erq thank you